As you have seen, the playlist area is where we usually play our videos from. However, it is also a place where we can create single playlist files to play multiple videos. Here on my desktop, I have a folder of Michael Jackson music videos. Normally, I would have to drag all of them into VLC or individually load the ones I wanted to watch. But within playlist, we can create a shortcut that will only load the videos we want. How we do this is by first selecting a group of videos we want to watch. I've just chosen five of my favorite songs from this folder. Next, I'm gonna drag and drop these into the playlist area. A video will start playing, so just press pause here and use this shortcut button to get back to our playlist. You can now see our files. If we want, we can reorder the playlist by holding and dragging, delete videos you don't want by hitting backspace, and add additional files by dragging and dropping like before. When you're happy with your list, come up to File in the menu bar and from the drop down menu, select Save Playlist. From this window, give your file a name. I will call this Best of MJ. Next, I always save my playlist file in the same folder as the original video files because if you ever delete those files, your playlist won't work. So just bear that in mind when you're considering file management. Now, where it says File Format, Extended M3U is selected. However, these files are set to automatically open with iTunes, which we don't want. So, if I go into this menu, I can also see we have this HTML playlist option, which automatically opens as a web page, and that's not what we want either. So, I have found selecting the XSPF file to be the best option as it is set to automatically open with VLC. So, we can just hit save. Now that's done, I'm going to delete all these files by holding down Command A and hitting backspace. Clear the memory by coming up to File in the menu bar, then down to Open Recent and hitting Clear Menu. So now VLC is empty, let's see if my playlist works by going back into my folder and locating the file. There it is. If I just preview it, you can see that it has the VLC logo on it, and when I double click it, it plays the first video. So if we go back into the playlist area, you can see that all the files are there in the correct order. And that's how easy it is to create your own playlist. I encourage you to find a way that works best for you as there are so many different ways you can utilize this feature for optimizing travel media, creating movie collections, mixtapes, and much, much more. Check out the next video where I will show you how to stream podcasts in VLC.